Now, uh, if I could get Matthias up here, we are going to go through our schedule online because we don't trust you guys to be literate enough to do it yourselves. So we are going to go through it and show you guys all the cool things. Um, <clears throat> once he ambles his way up here. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. So um, this is not our schedule. This is also not our schedule. Oh, sorry. We're, we're getting there. We're getting closer. Website? If you want to follow oh, along, the, the you can take out your little cell phones and go to decentral.community. Decentral.community. Oh, oh, we're almost there. What, what about all these lights, huh? What do you guys think? There's, there's lights everywhere, constantly. It's like the stars in the sky. <laughs> it's too central. Loading. So, for those of you who have extremely good eyesight, you can see the URL right there, decentral.community. For the rest of you, you can kind of do this and try to, try to see it. And one day, the internet at C3 will be good and we will be able to see these things. Until then, you know, maybe we can just pretend we see the schedule here and we can go through it together. The team is working as hard as they can. We're one minute over. So right after this, right after, to give you a sneak preview of the schedule, right after this, we have our Monero presentation from Daniel Kim. It's our only keynote today, and it's going to finish us off today. Uh, he's going to take us through everything, the thick, the thin, the economics, the, the cryptography. He knows everything about everything. He, big brain time. So please, please come to that one. He'll answer every question about Monero, about life. Um, he's got it all. So... Uh, that is directly after this. It starts in about 14 minutes. Um, you want to be here for that one. The network is overloaded. The network is overloaded. So, that means it's time to use my phone because I have it pulled up here. Once again, if you have your phone and you can connect to it, you can go to decentral.community to follow along here. Um, those of you watching at home, those of you watching in the great big audience, uh, we are going to go through these things. Uh, tomorrow, day two, Saturday, December the 28th, we are going to start at 1 p.m. We're going to start at 1. I'm going to come up here, give another 15-minute opening presentation, uh, speak for about two to three minutes, and go like, oh, my gosh, I still have eight, nine minutes to, to fill. Just exactly like what happened today is going to be a repeat of tomorrow. Um, after which point, actually, you're going to have even more of me because I am kick-starting the day off um, with our first talk. That is how, many, how long do I have to talk? 15 minutes. Okay, that's not that bad. I'm going to be talking about funding models of FOSS, free open source software. I'm just kind of talking about the various funding models that people have come up with uh, to make their open source software projects work. Um, we've, we've got a pretty big variety, and open source is, it can, be, can be difficult to monetize. Um, next, we got Ome. You guys remember Ome? He's from Swiss Crypto Economics. And they're going to be talking with us. Um, I really wish... Can you guys see? This is what he's going to be speaking to us about. Yeah? Okay, we can move on. No, um, in this talk, we will discuss forks as human consensus failure modes, why they happen, and their consequences. We'll look at examples of forks in different social structures, from hunter-gatherer tribes woo, and religious factions to open source projects and particularly the crypto economic economic protocols that enable decentralized infrastructure. Very pretentious. You want to be here for that. He's going to talk about religious forks. That's really kind of crazy. Um, as well, then, no, still no luck. When? When. That is directly after my talk. If you don't want to talk, listen to me talk, that is at 1.30 p.m. tomorrow.
Wait, you know what? Let me let me do this. So I'm getting network. Uh, let me let me put a hotspot. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. That's a good idea. Just one second, guys. We're gonna make this happen. Just one second. Just one second. See, see? Almost there. Connection failed. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I really did. Um, I failed you, though. So yeah, once again, take out your phones. He's like, yeah, take out your phones. The central dot community. Um, so we are on, uh, still on day one, right? Yeah, well, yeah day two. Day the, two. This oh, yeah, is day today. one. Yeah, actually, right. Next up is your thing, a workshop, open hardware dialogue. Yeah, I can speak a little bit about that. Yeah, maybe. yeah, do that. So we will be looking at a. Um, so I think it's like um, entered for two hours, but it can be longer because we have like multiple areas where we can hold the workshop. So tomorrow will be a small workshop uh, called Black Crystal. It's the fourth iteration of the workshop, um, where we will be looking at um, different implementations um, of the Trezor CryptoLib. So we will be learning from Trezor CryptoLib. Uh, on um, different implementations on different um, hardware and we will um, start actually a new repository where we will um, enter this kind of findings. Please get in contact with us though early if you want to participate in this uh, workshop because we have not an unlimited amount of um, devices with us so I think we can possibly like two pe people share a device like work with like 20 people max something like that. After so that, that is actually going to be going on during some talks oh, wow. up here on the stage so if you were interested in that workshop, you would have to miss some of the talks. If you were interested in the talks, you would have to miss the workshop. Or you don't have to be here at all. There's plenty of other C3 to watch uh, and to look at. Um, right after that, at 2 o'clock, we have the secret TrueCrypt audit. Um, oh, yeah, look it, we got it. OK, they're going to switch the screen. Um, the secret TrueCrypt audit, there's not much information beyond that. Um, so you, you can take from that what you will. But for those of you who don't know what TrueCrypt is, it's a way for you to encrypt. It's a software, an open source software that allows you to encrypt your files, encrypt your operating systems, make secret um, encryption thingies. Pretty neat. Uh, it's no longer in use, but plenty of spin-offs from it have happened. Plenty of forks, not spin-offs, uh, like VeraCrypt, which is the biggest one. So the secret TrueCrypt audit. If you're into conspiracy theories, this is the one you want to go to. So at three, we will have a P2P training in crypto on a key. That's a talk from BISC, I believe, uh, who will be talking about the BISC system and about um, different uses um, for this decentralized exchange, which is BISC. BISC is, BISC is really cool, yeah. It's the, it's the biggest currently decentralized exchange system for cryptocurrencies. Um, we got uh, continually running FOSS Asia workshops. So this one right here uh, is uh, by Mario, who just spoke today with us about FOSS Asia. Uh, they're going to be, if you can go there, go there and meet their community, they're waving right over here. Hey guys, you're the best. You're the greatest. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't need my phone anymore. <clears throat> then we have Arctic Mine, Francisco Cabanas, who is a Monero core team member who is going to be talking with us about Monero's approach to scaling. So if you guys like, I have a question about scaling, that, that always happens. This is the talk you're going to want to come to. He's going to talk about Monero's plans for scaling, what we've already done, what we've implemented so far. Then we have a talk about NIM. Uh, this is actually also organized uh, by our sub, uh, one of the assemblies by um, Swiss Crypto. Um, and this is about an incentivized uh, mix net based on Tor. So, um, yeah, excited about this one. Um, after that, we have a workshop. Uh, he's, he has written workshop, but it's actually a workshop <laughs> on crypto <laughs> AML, also uh, from Swiss Crypto Economics. So this is Polto, and um, there will be also 
Um, I guess this is an ongoing workshop uh, which should run longer. So some of the workshops that I entered here uh, entered in a very short time frame. Don't worry. I guess like uh, when they're happening directly at the assemblies, they can be at the, uh, can be longer. So please get in contact with the assemblies directly. I want you to note the wording. I plan to organize a workshop. So we will see if these plans go awry or if they actually go as intended. Um, so next up, digital integrity of the human person. Um, so Alexis, this is from Polylandic Police, Police, isn't it? Um, no, no, this one is not. Okay. Uh, well. Every so description ab abstract. That's how you know that this person is a researcher scientist. They provide us an abstract, not just a description. Every human evolves today in multi-dimensional physical and digital environment. Didn't we have this talk last year? Uh, no, but um, it's a similar topic. Obviously. Okay, so we had a similar topic, but yeah, the the human person, the digital person. Uh, th this is definitely something that you want to go into um, if you're as we're moving into the future, very rapidly changing, where humans are using digital stuff. Oh, they're telling us five minutes. We got to hurry, man. Okay, we got a workshop. Intro to Pope. Pope. That's right. There was crypto economics people. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a workshop over there with the uh, crypto economics group. Uh, we're probably not going to have time to finish all of these. And you guys are like, thank goodness we could look at this ourselves. <laughs> you guys are waiting for Daniel Kim. He is in his dressing room. He is getting the makeup. He is getting his big star so he can come on here and talk with you guys. He'll be here very soon. Yeah, so maybe if we don't go to all of this in detail, at least we can uh, note that a few smaller changes might be happening to the schedule, at least because there is, of course, um, delays and things, but also the workshops might take longer, shorter, and so on. So please um, also don't take the, the, the wiki schedule for too granted. Always check our FRAP, which has the latest uh, version of the, of the schedule. Currently, we're at version 2, and I expect still one version more to be happening. If you, in if you guys are one of the speakers or workshop people and you contact us last minute and say, can we change the time? We can, but we hate you. So keep that in mind. Um, so we are getting close to get kicking us off the stage. Um, that's pretty much uh, it for tomorrow. We've got a couple other things. Once again, decentral.community. The website is very pretty. I made it myself. So you can compliment me about that later.